All right, hi guys, this is Garth again. I wanna give a, um, a third video now on tying together everything and, and how the MUX is used inside of an ALU. Um, and I, in the past video, I gave an explanation of basically how MUXs work in our selector bits and how they choose an, any number of inputs and, and spit that out as your output. Um, and so inside our ALU, I mentioned how we are actually internally computing the answers for all of the expressions for the addition and the subtraction and the multiplication and division um, and all of our other expressions. We are computing the answers for that internally inside the LU and then the MUX is just using um, the opcode to the LU, the LU's opcode to choose which of these to show as the final answer. Um, so in Logistim we can build our own LU. Uh, if you go to the arithmetic section you notice we have a bunch of chips here. We've got an adder chip I'll go ahead and put that down. I've got a subtractor chip. I can add that here. Uh, I've got a multiplier. Uh, I have a divider. I've got a lot of built-in chips here, so I can go ahead and make my own little ALU. Um, and so you guys need to be doing a 32-bit ALU in Logistan. I'll be doing a 4-bit one here as an example for you guys. Uh, once I do this and once I make it a 4-bit ALU, it should be pretty straightforward for you guys to modify that and change it to 32 bits. Um, some modifications will be made, but it should be pretty straightforward once you see the examples. So I've got my, I've got my um, built-in chips here, and I'm changing them. Logisim has them set to eight bits by default, so I'm I'm lowering them down to four bits. Um, so you'll notice each of these chips they have input one, um, and they have the other input, uh, and then they've got some output, and this is all we care about for now. Um, you'll, you'll notice the chips have um, a weird input at the top for carry in, and they've got some weird input at the bottom for carry out. And we don't want to worry about that just yet. Uh, I'll explain that in a later video uh, because we will actually need to use our own adder chip for full credit for the assignment. Um, you can't use all of the built in chips in Logisim in your 32 bit ALU. You can use all of them except for the adder chip. You'll need to make your own 32 bit adder. Uh, to get credit for the ALU assignment uh, for Logisim. So I'll, I'll explain what the carry in and carry out are used for in the chips later on in, in the next video. <clears throat> so we've got all these chips here. Um, we've got uh, the first and second inputs and these are for, uh, say we want to add two numbers together, number A and number B. Well number A would come into this top input and number B would come into the bottom and their sum, their output, that would get um, spit out on this line for the output line um, and likewise for the subtraction chip uh, number A would go to this top pin number B would go to the bottom pin and the answer number A minus number B that would get spit out in this output line um, so I can go ahead and actually make uh, say I've got number A um, and I'll, let me change that to 4 bit now since I'm doing a 4 bit ALU example um, so I've got number A here and I want to do uh, I want to do number B. So I've got number B here as well. So I want to go ahead and extend, remember in our sum of products video where we used an input in multiple places in our circuitry. So I want to extend our A input line here uh, all the way into our adder circuit. But then I also want to make some connections here and I want to bring it into the first input for our subtractor chip. And I also want to do the same for our multiplication uh, in our other chips that we've got here in our ALU, I want to bring it to the first input line um, for number A. And then for number B, I want to go ahead and bring that to the second input line for all these chips. So here I've got a connection for our subtractor and our multiplication chip uh, and our chip for division. Um, and then you, you'll need to do, when you're making this adder, this my adder is kind of a butchered adder. I've only got four arithmetic expressions here. Um, yours will have eight. Uh, as indicated in the assignment. So I've got all of my uh, arithmetic expressions hooked up here and all I need now, all I need is a MUX. So I'll go ahead and hook a MUX up to it. Um, so uh, in the homework example um, it tells you it wants opcode 000 to correspond to addition. Um, so this should tell you well the selector bit going to the MUX 000 had better spit out the answer for addition um, so that's saying we want addition to come in on input 0. So just make sure that you hook these up to the correct input lines in your MUX. And this, this MUX does need to be 4-bit. 
it was 5 bit it needs to be 4 bit so that it matches uh, the number of bits coming out of our adder circuit and everything is 4 bits here our inputs are 4 bits uh, our chips are 4 bits our mux is 4 bits and our adders our, our output for our, our ALU that's also going to be 4 bits so in the in the assignment on Moodle uh, the second op code is 001 uh, to do with subtraction um, so that tells us well when the selector bit is 001 uh, the mux needs to pull um, from the first input line and that should be hooked up to subtraction um, so we go ahead and hook that up to our subtraction circuit here um, and I'll go ahead and hook up the remaining circuits just pay close attention to make sure that you hook them up to the proper lines of the mux um, as your opcode should perform. And so I've got this selector line. I'm going to rename it really quick and call it the opcode since that's what we've got going on here for our ALU. Uh, and this is our opcode. So I can go ahead and, and hook that up to our MUX here. Um, so now I've got a number A, number B, and an opcode. And finally I've got an output. I can go ahead and copy this over. I mean, I'll need to modify this to 4 bits so that Logisim is happy. So I've got our output now and this is a very bare bones ALU example so I can go ahead and change some bits. Um, say I want to add together uh, 2 and 1. Well I set number A to 2 in binary that's 1 0 and I set number B to 1 in binary that's just 1 um, and I want to add them together. So I look at my assignment in Moodle and I say oh what is the opcode for the add instruction? Well, the opcode is 000. So I just set that here for our opcode. Um, and then the MUX will pull the answer from the addition portion of our circuit here, and it'll spit that out. Um, so 2 plus 1, that should be 3. While in binary, 3 is rep represented as 1, 1. So we look at our output here, um, and then we notice that things are done correctly, and our MUX spits out the right answer, and our ALU is functioning perfectly for addition. Um, say I wanted to subtract these two numbers. Say I wanted sub to subtract um, 1 from 2. I want to have 2 minus 1, uh, the number 2 minus 1. Um, so I look in my Moodle assignment, I see that the uh, subtraction operation, I use the opcode 001 for that. Uh, so I go ahead and I change my opcode to 001. Um, I notice, well, 2 minus 1, that should be 1. And in binary, uh, we just represent 1 as 1. And then we look at our output here, and we see that we've got the correct answer. And if we wanted to multiply them together, uh, 2 times 1, well, that's just 2. Um, so say so we've got the opcode, opcode 2. So now we're doing multiplication, 2 times 1, and that should be 2. So in binary, we've got 1, 0. So that's correct output. Um, and then if we've got division going on, if we've got um, 2 divided by 1, um, the opcode for division is opcode 3 so that's 1 1 and so now we're pulling the answer from our division chip and uh, 2 divided by 1 well that's just 2 and that's represented in our output as 1 0 in binary um, so we can go ahead and we can play around with different numbers actually <coughs> so say we had um, say we had 4 well 4 in binary is uh, 1 0 0 and say we wanted to divide 4 uh, divided by 2 uh, 2 is just 1, 0. So 4 divided by 2, that should just be 2. Um, so we look at our answer now for output, and we get 1, 0 um, in binary, and that is equivalent to 2 in decimal. Uh, we can go ahead and change our opcode to multiplication, so 4 times 2, well, we should get 8 for that. So we go ahead and we change our opcode to opcode 2 uh, to pull from multiplication. Since multiplication is our second input line, we've got input 0, input 1 and input 2 so multiplication is our second input line and 4 times 2 well that's 8 and then we look at our output bit and we've got 1 0 0 0 coming out of our output um, and that is 8 in, in decimal so this ALU this very basic ALU is functioning correctly and so you want to scale this up you'll want to use 32 bits so you want to go and change your your number from a 4 bit input pin you will want to change it all the way into a 32 bit number coming in um, you'll want to do that for numbers A and B, and you'll want to change all of your built-in uh, Logisim chips to 32-bit. And you'll want to do the same thing for your um, your MUX so that your MUX can handle 32-bits uh, data coming in. 
and then the same thing for your output as well. And this is basically how you do an ALU, and this is how the MUX functions in, in terms of the LU. This is just, um, keep in mind, this is just one example implementation of an ALU. So you might find, um, you might search online and you might find some different implementations. Um, this is just my way of doing it. There are other implementations out there. Um, so I'd, I'd encourage you to see if you can find a different implementation for this. But if you just want a simple uh, LU for the assignment, this should uh, fit the purpose perfectly.